coming back to you again today. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So the the time is here. Uh, we're finally seeing XRP. I mean, you guys are XRP fans. This has started off as an XRP channel. So I have to address XRP first. So to see it actually getting above a dollar is it's absolutely amazing and i think part of what is happening the reason why i was able to get over a dollar is because cobb did not live stream <laughs> no, just joking but uh but yeah i mean it's 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 just wonderful to see it uh hovering over a dollar which is where it should have been a long time ago um but just to see it staying at like right now it's at 113 uh it got up to what here it, it peaked at about i think it was like 121 or something like that 118 uh either way let's go seven days uh where are we i just want to make sure yeah 123 just recently that's just amazing um so yeah i mean good times ahead uh, we do have some kind of questionable things going on in the world right now, but, you know, I'll get into that in a second. Uh, all in all, the markets are, I mean, the market is looking great. We have just, I mean, so much bullish sentiment. Um, look at this fear and greed. I mean, definitely in the greed area, so much bullishness. It's just, it's just amazing. Now, of course, uh, I know some time ago when I was, posting when I was uh, putting content out and let you guys know how I was conducting myself in this market and whatnot. But before I go any further, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor, just telling you guys, you know, my opinion and how I see it and what I'm doing. Please don't <laughs> make any moves based on what I'm saying. All right. Now that's out of the way. Um, the formulas that I had kind of come up with in 2021 you know they worked fairly well honestly i did end up selling a little bit sooner than i really wanted to but it still put me in a in a good position okay um now in this run what we're seeing right now there's that formula that i had then i don't think it's going to work for example um there was one coin that i was uh, looking at and what I had kind of come to was multiplying um, the previous all-time high by three, four, or five, depending on the market cap of the of the coin, right? So if it was a little bit smaller, you can go, you know, the the uh, it, it would be closer to five, if not over, or if it was, you know, a larger market cap, then a little bit lower, around three maybe four, two, something like that. So I don't think that will apply this time. And we have to look at it like this. During 2021, uh, even, you know, not even close to, 2021 is nowhere even near 2017. You know, crypto was very new back then. A lot of people didn't know about it. And just to hear about it all of a sudden, with this new, um, this new um, financial market that people are getting rich in, I mean, of course, everybody and their grandmother was piling in. But 2021, <clears throat> because of everything that was going on, obviously, at that particular time, there was, it was more fear, I think, in the market. Uh, and then on top of that, XRP had a very serious lawsuit against it, right? Which which was, you know, of course, all BS, but we got out of that. We got past all of that. So here we are. And the, for the first time in the U.S., we actually have optimism as it relates to crypto. We have a president who is coming in. He's, a, you know, the president-elect is absolutely pro-crypto. We have Elon Musk, who is obviously pro crypto. I mean, they've even created a department called the Department of Government Efficiency, Doge. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So 
What does that mean? We don't know. Now, if we're just going by technical analysis and, you know, <clears throat> things hitting certain marks at certain times. Okay. Using XRP for an example, it looks like it's only going to do maybe around $10. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that XRP is going to go to $100. You know, I, I don't see that necessarily happening. However, just from the calculations that I have made, being that XRP missed 20, the 2021 bull market, you know, for the most part, and with everything that's happening with XRP, with all of the things that have been put in place that XRP is a part of, the, <clears throat> the XRPL is a part of, the, the NFTs, the, I mean, everything involved with XRP, different companies using it governments i mean the you it, it it even looks like um uh xrp is going to be somehow utilized by the by the trump administration uh, you know that could be a rumor but either way people don't care if, if things are rumors or not a rumor as is as good as the truth when we're talking about speculation in financial markets right so <clears throat> Here we are, sitting at the forefront of pro possibly the wildest financial explosion anyone has ever seen. We don't know the potential that could come from all of this. We, I mean, ex again, I now I feel like we have actually found the true or gotten close to the true bottom of XRP, right? After Trump won, it just changed everything. The sentiment has changed. We have a pro, you know, it's just a pro crypto outlook. What we're going to see next, I believe, will, to use a, <laughs> a very commonly uh, um, utilized phrase, it will melt f faces, right? absolutely melt faces so how do we proceed well if you got a, a belt and you have a chair strap yourself in and let's go <laughs> so so yeah i mean seriously though um who knows guys this is i mean this is definitely uncharted territory uh Bitcoin's close to a hundred thousand dollars and <clears throat> I think yeah I mean I know these are narratives and whatnot but uh, you know th when you're when you're talking about and just kind of changing subjects here talking about World War World War three possibilities people get a little afraid right <laughs> so I think this uh, this this whole Biden um, approval for Ukraine to use missiles in Russia, I think that kind of, you know, spooked a little, uh, spooked a few people. Now, me personally, and again, guys, I could be totally wrong, but I think, I just don't think this is going to happen. I, I don't think there's going to be World, World War III. I don't think there's going to be mass destruction. I mean, if I'm wrong and it happens, then, I mean, it, 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 we're all done for anyway. But I think this is just, uh, you know, it's just, it's a way to kind of stymie things for a minute. I think um, it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to put this, but I kind of feel like it's more of a way um, to put the brakes on things for a little while. I mean, who wants to destroy, who wants the whole world to be destroyed? I know these people are crazy. But they're not that crazy, right? They're not going to just destroy the have the earth completely destroyed because everything gets wiped out, right? Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, could we see some, you know, some scary things? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think that's very possible. I think we're going to see, I think it's very possible that we'll see some, some, you know, terrifying things. But as far as nukes being dropped all over the world, nah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but again, I could be wrong. 
<clears throat> so let's go into some other things that are uh, something else that's positive for XRP. Gary Gensler resigning by the end of this month. That would be very bullish for XRP, I think. <clears throat> does does it really mean anything for XRP? No, but the it's just the principle of the matter. Gary Gensler, the Darth Vader <laughs> of crypto, who went far out of his way to attack XRP for the most part. I mean, yeah, other he brought cases against other uh, other companies, other crypto, but XRP was his main focus um to have him resign would absolutely i think it would bring a, a a fair amount of euphoria okay now getting back to the world stage um let's just let's take a listen to the, to trump here we have never been closer to world war three than we are today under joe biden a global conflict between nuclear armed powers would mean death and destruction on a scale unmatched in human history. It would be nuclear Armageddon. Nothing is more important than avoiding that nightmare. We will avoid it, but we need new leadership. Every day this proxy battle in Ukraine continues, we risk global war. We must be absolutely clear that our objective is to immediately have a total secession of hostilities. All shooting has to stop. This is the central issue. We need peace without delay. In addition, there must also be a complete commitment to dismantling the entire globalist neocon establishment that is perpetually dragging us into endless wars, pretending to fight for freedom and democracy abroad, while they turn us into a third world country and a third world dictatorship right here at home. The State Department, the defense bureaucracy, the intelligence services, and all of the rest need to be completely overhauled and reconstituted to fire the deep staters and put America first. We have to put America first. Finally, we have to finish the process we began under my administration of fundamentally reevaluating NATO's purpose and NATO's mission. Our foreign policy establishment keeps trying to pull the world into conflict. Okay, so you guys get the idea there. I'm just going to say this. <clears throat> what we're heading into is something that no one really can will be able to comprehend now you gotta remember 2017 what it uh, i think it was 20 yeah 2017 trump created space force okay now for the last 20 plus years i mean since you know really it's been 20 years ago <laughs> but maybe a little long, maybe a little further back i have been researching and spending hours of my time reading and and listening to whistleblowers and you know people who have seen every, I mean so many different things I mean even myself I've seen some of the wildest stuff uh, uh, that you could ever imagine and I can tell you this guys what I believe is what we are coming into at this point is going to absolutely blow everyone's minds. We've already gotten a taste of it with the hearings and the UFO and all that other stuff. And I know some of you probably are not into that. But you got to understand, these technologies are extremely important for what is going to happen next. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm speaking from a perspective of a little bit of, I guess, inside information, but don't don't take that the wrong way. It's uh, it's <laughs> nothing up to date, and it's nothing um, that is seriously deep. Um, more or less, 
we are headed for an extremely different way of life. If things play out the way I think they will. Um, <clears throat> some of the things that are available or that will be available, uh, it just, it, you've never heard of it before. You've never seen it, um, most likely. And um, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Now, I the reason part of the reason why I believe that we're not going to see any major destruction is because certain things, again, from my research, have to happen. Certain things have to come to pass. Some, certain things have to be exposed, revealed, all of that, um, before any major destruction haps, happens. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't want to get too deep into it. Um, suffice it to say, we're not going, I don't believe we're going to have to, you know, get ready for a, uh, uh, what is it, Book of Eli type of existence, <laughs> if you've seen that movie. If you haven't seen it, go check it out, it's pretty good. Or was the other one, The Road? I don't think we're headed for that just yet. I think there's going to be a little time. How long? I don't know, but I don't think we're headed for that now. <clears throat> so with that being said, you should still make sure you have a way to protect yourself. Make sure that you have, uh, you know, food for emergencies. You have uh, fuel and, you know, just things that you're going to need a way to get around if, if you can get a hold of a, you know, a vehicle that's four wheel drive or something like that. You may need it. You may need it. Like I said, we could still see some things that are, you know, quite terrifying, but I think we'll make it through. Um, and I don't think those things have to happen. It's just, you know, anything's possible. So yeah, um, just prepare guys, just be ready for anything. Uh, and, and I mean, even be ready for nothing to happen. Be ready to sell your crypto at the right time. So you can, you know, have that wealth that you've been looking for. And we've been waiting for, for years. So, so yeah, that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, you, you're, you're able to, you know, glean any, even, a, even the smallest amount of information. Uh, from this, um, yeah, I think I think I think we're I think we're gonna be okay. And here, <laughs> here I'm saying this, and then the world blows up. Yeah, but that's just my opinion. And I, again, I could be wrong. So, guys, uh, that's all I have for you. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. And all of you, make sure you, if you haven't done so. As well, hit that post notification button and uh, come back and see me when you see that little ding or you see the free coiner logo. But yeah, until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless. Oh.